accountant, we have a lot of images being shot from below of these dancers performing on what appears to be like a stage or in like a black box theater. You don't see any images of the audience, but you get a sense of that they're elevated on some sort of platform because of the way it's shot. And the dancers are in such close proximity that at times it, it seems as if they would collide. The music changes and it's as if the video is sped up timing wise to add to the idea of the chaos of the music. The women are beautiful um, that are dancing just such beautiful features. And the movement, their movement changes with the tempo. And I noticed after time that the music changes like water, it's sometimes fast, sometimes slow, it's sometimes fluid, sometimes it's rapid in the same way that water flows, you know, in various bodies of water. And so, or even in, in a fountain, if you would, if you will, because depending on what type of fountain will depend on, you know, how the, how the, the, the movement of the, the water. And so I felt like, okay, are these women representing the water? It's beautiful. Fountain. Um, nice opening music. I love the voice and the opening um, with the close up of the water. I just thought it was really cool and relaxing. Very nice, colorful costumes on the dancers, the women. This whole video took me on a ride with all the different visuals, colors, music. I decided not to try and interpret it. It just, in the big picture, was like a dream to me. Felt very dreamlike um, and just enjoyed it as I went. I felt like it was just some people expressing themselves. Really great performances. Um, just loved it a lot. Um, all the different words that would pop up and kind of just the expression. It just felt like an expression, just overall an expression with all these different cool visuals and kind of just decided to go with the flow, kind of like water. So I don't know. It was just a really neat video. I thought it was very well done, shot, performed, um, just very interesting and intriguing and kept me wondering where it's going next. So great job to everybody. Fountain. Fountain is a powerful short, experimental short. Um, I love how this started, you know, with the drops of water and this connects well with the title. And I also like the overall performance with the, we see these women uh, performing these very very uh, engaging and difficult choreography but i think that, that one of the best things about this short is how the music changes we got this kind of uh, afro vibes in the beginning and then as we, we move on we get to like a more electronic music um, and i think the way the characters move bet jump between from the one music genre and the other is absolutely fantastic and is a, a stunning stunning choreography and a, a, another praise goes to the to the colors used and then the, the way we have different filters in the in the film and out also different backgrounds and uh, getting from, from black to yellow in the end it was absolutely fantastic great direction and great cinematography too but overall a great short with a fantastic choreography Congratulations. Fountain was incredible. Uh, the thing that stuck out to me the most was like color. The theme was color. And that was through the lighting. It was through costume. It was through makeup. It was through hair. It was through all of the styling aspects, um, all of the creative choices that were made. I really, really enjoyed that. Um, I like that they paired it with the... Um, the, the wording and the poetry that like, oh, it was just, it was such an experience. Um, the dancers were incredibly talented. The editing was fantastic. My favorite part, my favorite scene was, uh, it was like a single woman in front of the camera and it was a yellow background and she was, uh, it looked like she was washing her face, uh, but it was all happening in reverse. And just seeing the water, obviously like water was a theme for it. And um, just seeing that in slow motion was just so cool and it was just such a, such a treat to watch uh, in so many different ways. The music was fantastic and really flowed with everything as well. Um, 
just like a beautiful experimental piece uh, that had such a, a great payoff for the audience. Great job. This film is called Fountain. This was a mesmerizing dance piece. It's mostly three talented dancers working together to create a dynamic picture. The piece was so freeing to watch and I also love the poetic text on the screen. Each dancer moves solo with so much grace and presence. The wardrobe items were creative and flowing which really worked for this interpretive piece. What set this film apart was the amazing CGI work such as the silky water and the droplets coming down. I also enjoyed the images of people turning into water and flowing away. The cinematography was so creative, lots of close-ups and slow-mos of the dancers. Finally, the varied music from synth to rock to fabulous vocals all served to give a visual feast for the eyes and ears. Great job. Fountain had this sort of mesmerizing opening with the water and continuing that water motif throughout and uh, likening humans to water and seeing their silhouettes in the water. Um, all of that was really cool. I thought the effects worked really well. Um, the dancing was beautiful in slow motion. You really make out those big movements with the slow motion and it just seems even more graceful with that. So I thought that was a great choice. Um, I love, of course, the juxtaposition of the dance cut together with these water um, effects. I thought that was really cool and a great choice. Um, I liked that they played with light a lot. We had lots of different colored lights, um, blues and pinks, and it was cool how a lot of the messages shown on screen were shown first as tattoos or as part of a necklace, like having that incorporated within the film physically and not just as text on the screen was really cool and something that I haven't really seen before. Um, so it was a great idea to have that in there. Um, so yeah, I thought this was a really cool film and I loved the way it related people to water um, and brought all that physicality to the dance as well. So yeah, I really enjoyed this film. Water is flowing, the body is flowing. Knots are being tied. They're reminding me of the capability of uh, one's stomach being tied up in knots. And when a body goes through trauma, they, the body needs to just sort of shake it out. Uh, the question appears, how do you feel now? I feel everything in this moment. My bridge is burning. Uh, we can't ignore the water. We cannot uh, ignore these thoughts that we have. And, but we must keep moving. There's a feminist like compassion coming from the screen. Uh, I don't want my grief to turn into monsters. Uh, sometimes we let our monsters consume us, and it shows that it's best to not grieve alone, and healing is not by any means linear. The tides come and go, and this is a story about a daughter who has lost a parent, and I can connect with this right away. Uh, we are left with this massive wave of emotions and we have to keep our monsters at bay and we have the power to fill up a space and we as humans fall into pressure and we cry and we endure all this trauma and I see this piece as a way to kind of give yourself this femininity side of love that we need to seek out as humans taking in the grief giving yourself nourishment most of our body is water we need water in order to survive Therefore, we uh, need to have this fountain of life, so to speak.